It's Thursday night, and it's the NBA here on 2K Sports. Tested game. You look at Michael Jordan in this game, he has been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Tate him out there with Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the one. And that's the group for Joe Missoula as we begin the second half. Rodman passes to Jordan. Six on the shot clock. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Jordan's got his team on the board first here in the second half of the Bulls. Outside Tatum. Shoots over Rodman. Misses the jumper. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Rodman with a screen on White. Here's Jordan. The shot by Rodman, no good. Celtics trail by six. White dishes to Tatum. Back to White. Jordan with the steal. Upside Pippen. Porzingis with the block. Holiday against Harper. Porzingis passes to White. Porzingis sets the pick for White. And he's good on the three ball. 
White's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Bulls leading by three. Outside, Longley. White against Jordan. Shoots over White. And again, no good by Chicago. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Tatum kicks to Holiday. It's White on the wing. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. White's got the game tied up here for Boston. Outside Pippen. The pass to Longley. Outside Pippen. And it's Jordan that's out the key. Shot clock at five. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That is his first foul of the game. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. An emphatic rejection that was. Boy, you've got to appreciate that kind of forceful in-your-face defense. Harper the pass to Jordan. Six to shoot. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on White. Smart play that time by Jordan. Using the pump, baiting the defender, and he bit. He's made all five of his attempts at the line so far. The first free throw is good. And team-wide, they've been terrific from the line here. Just one of those nights when the confidence has spread from one player to the next. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Longley. Bushler comes in for Dennis Rodman. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Harper. And he's given them a good contribution at the line tonight. Getting there a lot and delivering on his opportunities. Passes it to Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Pippen. To the inside. And it's Porzingis that time on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got three assists tonight. Man, I love watching Tatum break down the defense and the pick and roll exploits any passing lane that's available to him. And here's Pippen to the left wing. Bushler, the pass to Kukoc. And another miss by Chicago. And so White will bring it up for Boston. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Sinks it. And the shot from Persingas. Not trying to second guess anything or throw any shade, but Persingas is terrific at understanding when to shoot off the catch. And stolen by White. On the wing, Holiday. And another basket for Boston. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. No question about it. I mean, these teams are really battling hard now. Kerr against Holiday. Pass to Jordan. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. And the shot's good from Bushler. Hey, you got to pay attention to the scouting reports. You know that Bushler is an effective shooter, especially from the mid-range. Here's Tatum. He's got 12. And the call will be against Scotty Pippen. That's foul number two for him. The Celtics making a switch here. Orford's checked in. Brown outside. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Brown's got the lead up to five now for the Celtics. Now, here's Pippen. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Horford. Pippen so creative at drawing fouls. Just baits the defenders in the foul room so he can get to the line. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Celtics. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance, and the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. And another thing they've been exceptional at is their passing. On-target ball movement has gotten them a lot of assists tonight. Rodman, he's checked in for the Bulls. And both free throws good for Pippen. 
Pippen, simply put, one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless scorer. Down low, here's Horford. Kukoc with the rebound. Kukoc has got five rebounds tonight. Brown against Jordan. Shoots over Brown. It'll go. The Boston lead is cut down to one on the bucket from Michael Jordan. A high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. Porzingis with a screen on Jordan. Brown outside. Chicago grabs the miss. Pippen with it. He has six. Pass to Kerr. Back to Jordan. Going inside. Oh! <laughs> yes, sir. That was incredible. Oh, man. Pretty artful dribbling display by Jordan there. And it completely baffled the defender. And Boston has possession. They trail by one. Tatum against Pippen. A three. A three from Tatum. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Well, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. The pass to Pippen. Here's Jordan. He's covered by Brown. Four on the clock. Two coach from outside. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Jordan's got five assists tonight. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. The shot by Holiday, no good. Pippen finds Jordan. Teardrop shot. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Some solid defense from Brown. Passes it to Tatum. Porzingis sets the pick for Tatum. Outside, Horford. And again, Boston with the triple. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. Chicago calls timeout. And making some changes. Tillman's checked in, and it's Pritchard in for Tatum. Wennington is checked in for the Bulls. Harper comes in for Jordan. Outside Harper. Takes the 13 footer, and it's rebounded by Drew Holiday. And here's Holiday, who will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. The lead is two. Three-pointer. And again, Boston with the triple. Yeah, you look at Holiday, just so smooth and graceful. Doesn't miss a beat roll into an open shot. Now Harper, still without a basket. Kerr outside. Wennington passes to Pippen. Lock at six. Pulls up on the wing. Rebounded by the Celtics. 1.53 left to play in the third. To the paint, Horford. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got four assists in the game. Loving the energy right now here in the third quarter as they try to take control of this game. And I really think this is the time to do it because this is a real important juncture in the ball game right here. Horford against Kukoc. They set the screen. Will it go? Kerr the pass to Kukoc. Takes the three. That one, no good. Celtics leading by seven. 
Brown outside. He kicks to Holiday. Back to Brown and finished off by Brown. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. There's 57 seconds left to play in the third. Pass to Pippen. Kuko to screen on Brown. His agility makes Pippen so dangerous inside. He can create contact while also being able to get the shot off. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Scotty Pippen, two shots. The first one falls. Austin making a switch here. Hauser's checked in. The Bulls also changing it up. Bushler comes in for Wennington, and it's Jordan in for Ron Harper. And he can't hit the second. Celtics leading by eight. Here's Brown. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. The drive by Jordan. Watching Jordan take it to the rim. I love it, man. Looking determined to at least force the defense to foul. Great shooting for him at the foul line tonight. Seven of seven. And a lot of his points coming by way of the free throw. I like the fact he's been dialed in. He's gotten into a nice rhythm and he never got out of it. Throw good, Jordan. And so he's able to get one of two. And stolen by Jordan. 23 seconds left to play here in the third. Good. Jordan's got 44. Boy, what a ruthless, wicked dribble move that time by Jordan. Threw his defender off and got the space he needed to fire. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. Austin on top as they end the third quarter with a massive 16-7 run. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Bulls trail by eight. So with Rodman on the bench, this is Phil Jackson's lineup. We've got Kukoc. Jordan is out there with Kerr. Then there's Bill Wennington. And it's Simpkins in at the four slot. Coming on to the floor for the Bulls. Dennis Rodman, Scotty Pippen, Judge Bushler, Ron Harper, Austin leading by eight. Tatum passes to Hauser. Bushler with the rebound. Here's Chicago. Here's Pippen. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Boy, Pippen showing you some passing right there with that nice finish. Mm -hmm. 
and here is Tatum. Fires it up. Right through the cylinder that time. All net. And the Celtics lead by eight. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks guys don't last minutes. They last days. Rodman dishes to Jordan. Five to shoot. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Sinks the three-pointer. Well, Bushler can absolutely drain it from deep. He's got a nice stroke on that jumper. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Jordan. In the corner, Tatum with it. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut to just three points on the basket from Michael Jordan. Jordan doing a nice job, leaking out slyly. Excellent in transition. Pritchard passes to Tatum. It's good from long range. Tatum's got five points now this quarter. And it seems as if someone got their signals crossed if he can wind up that open from three-point range. I'm sure that was not a part of the game plan. Here's Pippen. Outside for Jordan. Pass to Bushler. Pulls it up. That's in, and the Celtic lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Michael Jordan. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Tatum no good. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. The shot from the low post is good. Now just a two-point Celtic lead. Pippen showing you nice agility that time, working around tough defense, able to play through that contact. Pippen's gone four for nine from the field. Got a piece of it. In transition, here come the Bulls to tie it up. And Jordan with the nice bucket inside. Jordan's got 50 points. Well, so often we see this transition buckets off turnovers. And we know turnovers are painful and costly. You get loose with the ball on one end and get punished on the other end. Horford sets a screen for Tatum. And a miss there on the triple. Now the Bulls with it. They're on a 13-5 run. And Scottie Pippen so good at surveying the floor. Like seeing him find the open man with those sweet dishes. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Here's Hauser. The pass to Tatum. To the middle. Here's Horford. And the dunk by Horford. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. Here's Pippen. Chicago calls timeout. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum, getting it done today. And he's on fire from beyond the arc there. It's time to start shaping their game plan around stopping this long-range assault. in for the Celtics. Chicago also making some changes. Wennington he's checked in for Rodman. Simpkins comes in for Scotty Pippen. And it's Kukoc in for Bushler. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? During that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Phil Jackson said to the team. He told them, this is what it's all about. Proving we're the better team in the tough situations. But you gotta want it. Coach told his guys they have what it takes to win here. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. Jordan with it. Now guarded by Tatum. Wennington passes to Jordan. Jordan is doubled. Here's Simpkins. Guarded by Holiday. Five on the clock to the inside. Harper's shot's good. Now remember, Ron Harper is 6'6", and he's long. Huge for somebody that plays a lot of point guard. And that helps him operate down low, too. 
And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Takes it inside, and Holiday throws it down. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. There's a screen. Harper the pass to Wennington. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Aggressive defense against Wennington that time, but you know what? He didn't let it bother him at all and just stayed focused on the play. Two shots. And he makes the first. You know, what's like about Wennington is his embracing of the dirty work. I mean, you can rely on him to give you a really solid effort on every play at both ends. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Rodman, he's checked in for Simpkins. Scotty Pippen is subbed in for Tony Kukoc. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Richard passes to Holiday. There's Brown with the three. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. And the Celtics lead by one. And, you know, we've seen Brown accept more responsibility over time on offense, including taking these quick shots. It's a nice ball movement here by Chicago. Podman with a screen on Brown. Hip it. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. Boy, right down to the wire here. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry for the win. And Tatum puts up a deep three. Tips it up. Outside, Rodman. Dishes it to Pippen. Passes to Jordan. Rodman kicks to Pippen. Here's Jordan. And oh, he rips it. Jams it right over Przingis. Wow! And talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Well, I tell you what, guys. The kids, the young kids Pardon? like to say, that's doing too much. That falls into that category. That was too much. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Here we go, fans. Time to make some noise for Boston's own Celtics Entertainment. Derek White checked in for Pritchard. Number nine, Derek White. Here's Tatum. A baseline J. Basket good. Tatum's got 10 points in just the second half. Tatum clearly putting on a show in this one. Doing it all. Back to Jordan. And here's Harper from the arc. And it's White with the rebound. You know, he's not a knockdown shooter from there, but when you're that uncovered, you almost are forced to take it. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. Chicago trailing here. Jordan with it. And he uses the glass on the layup. Jordan's got 10 points now just in this quarter. How about that intensity that Jordan brings? I mean, this dude comes alive during crucial parts of the game. Well, Holiday. Outside Tatum. Pass to Brown. For the three. Rebounded by Wennington. Wennington's got his fourth rebound in this one. Jordan against Tatum. Jordan passes to Rodman. Here's Wennington. 
Second shot opportunity. Rodman no good. Pippen against White. Pass to Persingas. Brown outside. Tatum trying to break free. Brown no good. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury those. Jordan with the ball. Now guarded by Porzingis. Six on the shot clock. Pippen with the wide open look. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Jordan's got an assist number eight now on the night. With the floater. It will go, and the Bulls lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Tatum. And Tatum has been in these situations before. He's reliable when it comes to stepping up in big moments. And here are the Bulls now. Rodman with a screen on Holiday. Harper the pass to Jordan. Outside Pippen. A three ball. And the Bulls another three. He's such a clutch shooter. He just lives for the big shot. One thirty-three left in the fourth quarter. Tatum, that's for two. And another basket for Boston. How about the pace that Tatum plays with? Excellent. I mean, when he's feeling it, he can pull up effortlessly off the dribble. Nice. Here's Jordan. You know, he rips it and jams it right over Przingis. Wow! Nobody more clutch than Jordan. When the game is on the line, he comes up large for his team. Tatum against Rodman. Tatum gets to home. Oh, good with the triple. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Przingis against Pippen. Here he goes. And it's sent back by White. White doing an excellent job coming up with the block there. The three from Tatum. It falls. And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Jordan against White. Turn around, Jay. Yes! Well, Jordan has been fantastic. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're trailing by three. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what do you think? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Either way, they got to score the ball. And the ball's making a change here. Longley's checked in. Substitution number 13, Luke Longley. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Count it! A tremendous three to tie it up. Well, White is a capable three-point shooter now, and he does not need a lot of space or time to get time off out, the shot. Out. And so the timeout by Phil Jackson here. Bart. Eleven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pippen dishes to Jordan. Back to Pippen. Kicks it to Jordan. And Jordan slams it home. My goodness.
Goodness, that was absolutely filthy. Ugh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. Boy, I'd love to get a replay on that one. Let's keep it handy so we can see it again. Timeout call, the Celtics. Guys, your thoughts? Yeah, and the only chance here is a lob at the front of the rim. A tip in to tie the game. There's not enough time to get a catch and shoot. And so the big win by Chicago in a tight game. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Michael Jordan.